Good morning, Doug. Hello. How's it going? It's going well. It's nice and warm on the West Coast. Uh, that's always good. <clears throat> Hold on a sec here. Can I get myself organized? Huh. Window feels a little wide. All right, hey Eric. Hello, Doug. Yo, Tommy. Hi, Tamer. Hi, Doug. How are you? Good. And Ginger? Ginger, are you there? I am. Can you hear me? Yes, I can. Cool. You're, you're in Texas, right? Unfortunately. I was going to say, how are you doing <laughs> with, the, uh, with the weather and stuff? Uh, now it's fine, but uh, the storm was... Um, intense. I don't even know how to, how to describe it. Um, I was lucky in the fact that I did have power the whole time. Mm -hmm. um, I lost water though on day three. So I was out of water for eight days oh. and had one, one broken pipe, but thankfully it was in the garage. Um, and so it flooded the garage a little bit, but it was on the, the floor. So it didn't mess anything up. Um, now I'm just super anxious about every sound I hear in the house and I check the meter four times a day and <laughs> so yeah because because uh leaky water can cause massive damage it's amazing but yeah that's scary yeah so just trying to recover at this particular yeah. point in time okay all right uh Remy are you there yep hi hello and how yep okay and Klaus yes all right Christoph Hi. Hello. Let's see. Do, 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 do. I think that's everybody. Oh. I actually have a fairly short agenda today. So if you have any topics, go ahead and add it to the list. Every time you say that, Doug, it ends up going longer and longer. No, I, just, I know, I just jinxed it. And I have not eaten breakfast yet, so I am definitely not in the mood for a very long meeting today. <laughs> <laughs> oh my. Hey, Jim. Morning. And Vlad. Good morning, everybody. I was going to slide some. Clemens joke in there, but I figure maybe I shouldn't start being recorded. Do it. <laughs> it's okay. <laughs> no, I'm going to jinx it. It's not recorded, so you can put it there. Yeah. Aren't they aren't we being recorded by auto automatically? Hold on a minute. Yep, upper left. Yeah, see, I don't see that when I'm sharing the screen. I don't, I don't get to raise my hand, and I don't see whether it's being recorded or not. So, interesting. I think all the CNCF calls by default are being recorded. Yeah, that's what I thought. Okay. I didn't uh, think you had any control over that, actually. 
I, well, th technically I do have the host code, so I pr could probably get in there and do something, but I never log in with that, so yeah. All right, uh, Lou, are you there? Yes, hi, talk to you. Hey, and there was someone else that went flying by. Oh, Jesse. Good morning. Good morning. All right, give him one more minute, then we'll get started. Uh, Hamid, are you there? I'm here. Excellent. And Simon, are you there? Yes, thank you. Excellent. All right, tell you what, it's three after. Let's go ahead and get started. Uh, only 16 people today, that's interesting. All right, um, okay, community time. Anything from the community people wanna bring up? All right, so just a reminder, we do have an SEK call after this meeting. I'll double check, but I'm pretty sure we actually have nothing on the agenda. Just do a quick scan there. Yeah, nothing. So if you have a topic, <laughs> um, if, we, if you have a topic, please go ahead and add to the agenda. Uh, Interop discussion last week. Um, the only thing I think worth mentioning, because I think most people were too busy to do a whole lot of work on their stuff. Uh, we are planning on doing a uh, Interop testing uh, starting at the end of March with the hope of maybe being done by KubeCon and maybe do some sort of demo there. We'll see how it plays out. But uh, the big thing to, to know about that is we are planning on doing interop testing starting end of March. So that should give people plenty of time to, to ramp up their coding efforts. Okay. Uh, Timur, anything you wanna mention from the workflow stuff? Uh, since last time we completed the gRPC stuff, we completed the expression language uh, JQ, and we're planning a version 06 release before KubeCon EU. So just you know, working around that to make sure everything is the way we want. That's it. Cool. All right. Any I did want to remind you about the uh, KubeCon Bash. Group. Yeah, I was gonna. I was gonna touch on that oh, next. Sorry. Yep, My no, bad. that's good. I appreciate you reminding me though. I tend to forget. Okay, any questions about workflow? All right, moving on then. So I got a note from the KubeCon, KubeCon EU organizers saying that they're gonna have a cloud native bug bash, uh, which is, uh, well, you can read it here, right? It's talking about basically working on debugging code and banging on stuff and things like that. Now, obviously that won't really apply for our spec work. However, um, if the SDK folks want to sign up for that, um, just let me know. Um, I'll send in a form for you guys, or I'll send you guys a point to the form or whatever is necessary to make that happen. Um, in fact, I'll try to remember to mention that in our SDK call if we do have one today. But I just wanted to bring that up and if someone wants to join in, you know, let me know. But I didn't think it applied to us from a spec perspective, unless someone could think of an aspect that I'm not thinking of. Okay, I guess no more comments on that. I'll try to remember to bring that up in the SK call. Oh, okay, yeah, Timur says there's a bug bash Slack channel in CNCF if you're interested in joining that. Okay, all right, so I have a question and this is more of a git, git slash GitHub type question because I wasn't quite sure how to work here. And I, I don't feel like I'm an expert on, on Git to know for sure what the answer is here. But we got a PR uh, for 1.0, uh, for 1.01, um, basically just a typo type thing, nothing big, so that, that's not the issue. However, they opened the PR against the V101 branch. So obviously I could merge that PR and that would work just fine. However, <clears throat> that's actually gonna obviously change the 1.01 version of the spec, at least from a branch perspective. Now, I think you can technically have branches and tags have the same name, but I think when you when you don't go out of your way to be perfectly clear about which one you're actually talking about, I think it defaults to the branch and you can only have one, I'm sorry, in GitHub, when you have the default thingy, it's a default branch, it's not a default tag. So when someone first goes to the repo, they're gonna look at a particular branch and we're gonna point them to the 101 branch, which means they're gonna see this PR, this merge PR as part of that. Now, obviously it's not a huge deal because it's just syntactical type things, but it seems a little bit wrong from a process perspective that 
we don't sort of stack up these PRs and then eventually create a 102, right? It seems weird that we're slipping this thing under 101 because it seems to me once we actually cut a release, that thing should be basically set in stone and static, okay? So I wasn't quite sure what people do in this type of situation. Um, I was thinking what they might do is something what I'm suggesting down here, which is a create something like a V10 stream branch where that's where all the PRs are sent to. And then we just create tags off of that or, or tags or branches off of that. So we'll create a 101 branch or, or something, but that way all PRs can go to a stream and, we do, and then we just create the next patch release from that stream. How do other people do this kind of stuff? Does anybody have any suggestions? I wasn't sure how to move forward here. Can I raise my hand? Yeah, please go ahead. Um, so I'm, I'm just, I just wanted to mention the, the XML 1.0 fifth edition errata, um, meaning I, I think it's okay if you don't make any substantial changes and, and if you just, just uh, um, make um, uh, type if you fix typos that we're we're looking at the 101 br branch since it is one is it a tag or is branch is it, it's a branch right it, it is a branch correct yes. yeah so that that the one 101 branch is uh, the 101 branch with errata we we should merge we should merge the PR into both places. But um, um, I think I think everything that is um, we want the typo to be fixed. We want the typo to be fixed in the thing that people see. I think that's that's what we. So so you do errata for spec. If you're finding embarrassing stuff that doesn't change the spec per se, but that is just dumb stuff like typos or grammatic errors or or something like this. But the the, the spec with errata is still the same spec. That's my that's my stance on that. So you lost me there for a second, because at some point in the beginning of what you said there, you said you merge the PR into both places. What is both? Um, so so I think I think the, the 101 is set in stone in that we don't make any progress on it. That's what I mean. But but if there are there is something that is helping better for better understanding with 101, um, where you are fixing an obvious uh, um, error, then I think that's fair to put that into the one on one branch. But it will also it will also have to exist on master. Yeah, yeah, I definitely agree with updating master. And, and I guess I just wasn't, I just felt uncomfortable making a change to the one on one branch. Um, because like I said, I think typically in my mind it, it's set in stone. But then if we do that, when would we ever create a 102? Because typically patch releases are always just supposed to be typos type stuff, right? So it, when would we ever create a 102? Yeah, we have, we have, the question is how do we deal with errata? Right. That's the question. And, and I think with, if you, if, if there's literally just a typo, I don't have a problem with it because ultimately what, there are still more people who don't know about cloud events than they who know about cloud events and we want them, they will show up and we want on the default that we're showing them, we want them to, to see the right document. I think that's the principle that I'm applying. And, and so therefore, whether that document has been you know, finalized four weeks ago and or um, uh, we, we fixed the bug, uh, the text bug yesterday, I, yeah, there might be a process objection here, but I think I think the the product that the people who are coming to us see is the most important important one. And we want them to be normatively correct, reflecting what we've agreed to. But then at the same time, we also don't want to have embarrassing mistakes there. Right. So so one option is to do what you're saying, and I think which is basically merge everything into 101. And we'd basically, in my opinion, probably never create a 102. Uh, the other option is we could change the default branch on the repo to be the 10 stream branch. Eh. Eh. <laughs> what, what, okay, so what do people think about Clement's suggestion? Basically merge it straight into 101 and what 101 becomes a bit of a moving target, but it's always gonna be just typo type fixes.
seems to me the question is whether you're actually changing the standard by fixing a typo. And it seems fairly clear that the answer would be no. Right. It, it, this is more, yeah, as, as Clement said, this is more of a process and puristic perspective, right? Is 101 technically set in stone or not? And we're, I think Clemens is saying, no, it's not. But we are limiting it to just patch fixes. And I'm okay with that as long as the group is okay with that. But it is, it is a, you know, being a little bit wiggly about things. Does anybody have any objection to that? Okay, tell you what, because we don't have everybody on the call here, what I'll probably do is send out a note suggesting that. And if we don't get any objections, then we'll go ahead and do it. Um, well, yeah, so Jennifer said it's not being wiggly as long as you're making part of the spec. Yeah, well, it's, it's, it's wiggly in the sense that I think most people assume that once you stamp something as complete, you know, as with an official release title or tag, it's, it's set in stone at that point, right? And that, that's the part that's wiggly to me is we're not keeping it set in stone. We're, at, we're, we're morphing it slightly over time. So when you look at 101 a month ago versus a month from now, I think most people would expect them to be the exact same. And we're saying they're not gonna be. So, and and that, that, that's okay as long as we're upfront about it. I think that this is like a standard kind of thing is what I'm, I'm kind of getting to like all kinds of specs. Um, we'll have the like deal with this, uh, and and in general, my experience has been like, uh, it like typos, fixing the typos. That's just considered like part of the process, and not considered uh, versioning up the the spec. It's not a change in the spec. It's not. It's not actually being wiggly, but as long as that's like the agreed process is the key part. Yeah. Um, yeah. Okay. Yeah, it's funny. Our life would be so much easier if GitHub had the ability to point to a tag instead of a branch. That's the default thing when you go when you come into the repo. So, such is life. Okay. So, there's an AI for me to do that. All right. Any other comments or whatever on that topic before we move on? All right. Cool. And thank you, Clemens, for the idea. All right. Um, Jim. Were there any updates on your signature extension proposal? I don't think there were, but I just want to double check. No, there aren't. Um, um, I failed in my attempt to um, do the homework that was set to be my, by Clemens last week. Uh, don't get my homework, I'm afraid. <laughs> okay, that's fine. Um, let's see, Slinky is not on the call. And let me just double check. I'm pretty sure this one is still under development with comments and stuff that, and therefore it's premature to think about merging. Let me just double check. Check it, check it, check it, check it. Yeah, there's still some outstanding stuff. Yeah, so okay, I think we need to hold off a little more. So just a nagging reminder for everybody, uh, please go ahead and review his PR when you get a chance. Um, I think it'd be nice if we can get at least the rough draft of that in fairly soon just to get out of the PR stage. And that will, I think, raise its visibility for people. Okay. Um, now this one, another slinky one. Now, Clemens, you said you are having a fit of uh, old age and could not remember why you wanted to make a change on this one, right? Um, <laughs> thank, you. thank you, Doug. It's great. Yes. Uh, <laughs> um, yeah, I, I um, so so I I uh, know that I don't want to remove it, um, but I'm, gonna, I'm sorry. This I'm sorry. I think I'm getting it confused. No, never mind. Never mind. I, I'm proud. Keep going. I'm sorry. Yeah. Is this one. Yeah, that is. Yeah, 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 yeah exactly. Um, I, ha I literally have to go back to our um, recordings and, and see what I said there, but I haven't done that yet. I have, I have uh, the last two weeks where um, uh, my, all of my cloud events time budget is being sucked up by uh, working with uh, Klaus and, and uh, his friends. 
Okay. And so therefore, um, I have not had the time to go and take a look at that in, in detail. This one. Yeah, this is the this one I was one. actually thinking of. I apologize. I was getting them confused. I thought something was missing ah, here. Yeah. yeah. So yeah, that one I looked over and uh, like I literally couldn't remember why why I had an objection, but then I read it again, and uh, at that at it today, and um, that now that looks fine to me. I don't know. I don't know what I had. Maybe I had a bad day or something. Okay. Um, but and we we had discussed something about this, and I'm not sure whether it, it might just have been that I had no time to look at it, and you said because nobody else here knows anything about it that I should go and do a review. That's probably more like it. Um, but I can we can merge that. Yeah. Okay. Well, let's make sure Slinky's still not here. Yeah, he's not. Okay. Um, well, he needs to do a rebase anyway, so we'll I'll, I'll I'll reach out to him and ask him to do a rebase and see if he remembers what you were thinking of, um, and maybe that will jog your memory. But if not, uh, we can then merge it. However, I do need to ask the question of the group: Does anybody else have any possible concerns with this? Meaning, if everybody's okay with it, I'll do an offline double check with Slinky and do a merge, if, unless someone has an objection. Anybody have any comments, concerns? Okay, so let me do that. Do, 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 do. Where is it? So, okay, that's this one. Oops. Um, okay, cool. And so that was that one. This one, distributed tracing. What was the who? Were we waiting on you, Clemens, for this one? Just to, I think we were, right? Uh, yes. So that's why I was. That's why I was uh, a confused. A confused here. Yes, we were waiting on me, um, and that I have to go go back to because I don't know what I. So I am opposed to removing it, but Slinky had removed some. Had raised some points. And I had said something about this, and then there was some homework that was assigned to me, I believe, based on this. But I have to go back into the recording because I can't remember what that was. Yeah. Okay. Yep. Okay, cool. In that case, uh, moving forward, I don't see Lance on the call, so I can't nag him. And your schema registry, you saw some, I think, PR changes to make there, right? Um, yeah, I have I have a few I have a few things to to change there still with uh, with these with these events. I'm not completely completely done with that yet. Okay. Um, so I, I'm hoping I'm hoping that I can have have that all finalized in uh, probably not next week, but the week after. Okay. Cool. Thank you. Um, and just to remind you, you still have these two up here. Yeah, and and so and yeah, the credential properties part that is um, um, uh, that's pretty essential also for the other one. We we need we need to take we need to take more of a stance for these for all of those for the triple of new specs. We need to take more of a stance in terms of what the auth story will be because those are proper APIs and not just the the message. And um, uh, we're we're already like we're, we're having discussions with uh, Klaus team and our team about um, you know, how the relationship works between those two big big platforms and uh, most time is being spent on roles and permissions and people and authorization so you can already tell that that's a complicated story mm -hmm. so i think i think we need to go and materialize that somehow in the specs because otherwise we can't get, get interrupt working yep okay cool um and that's it for the agenda um are there other topics you want to bring up Very, very short today. No one has anything? Okay, then just a quick reminder, unless Eric, you wanna talk about this. We do have Eric's issue out here that we said we we're gonna talk about offline. I'm not sure anybody had a chance to do anything with it, um, but please go look at that uh, and, and comment if you're so inclined. And with that, I will go ahead and do the last of the roll call. So Manuel, are you still there? Yes. Excellent. Uh, Priyanka? 
Priyanka, you there? Hey, uh, hey, yeah. Yeah, there we go. Cool. Gotcha. Okay. Did I miss anybody for the agenda? I think I got all 20 people. Oh, 21. Someone just joined. Matt, you there? Yep. Excellent. You just made it because we're just about to adjourn. <laughs> all right. Anybody else for the agenda or the attendee list? All right, last chance. Any topic for either the primary call or the SDK call? Otherwise, we'll call it a day for SDK as well. Just double check. All right, in that case, we are done really early. Thank you all for joining. We'll talk again next week. Fabulous. Yeah, enjoy Thank it. You. Thank you, Doug, for your wonderful leadership again. Wonderful, yes. <laughs> oh, enjoy your um, breakfast. Yes, I get to go eat breakfast now. Yes, or I start lunch by now. Yeah. Uh, so that's why you're so rushed. Okay. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> Food is very important. You know it. All right. Have a good one, everybody. Bye. 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 Bye.